Hi, welcome to another episode of Azure Every Day. I'm Chris Silvernail and I'm a BI consultant with 3Cloud. The Power BI mobile experience is pretty fantastic. Power BI consumers aren't stuck in a browser scrolling and zooming. Microsoft has made mobile access a first class experience in their Power BI platform. They've taken care of all the heavy lifting, authentication, data security, network connectivity. It's all automatically delivered out of the box. You download the app, sign in once, then enjoy access to all your reports and dashboards. It even integrates with your mobile device's virtual assistant. Hey Siri, show me the sales report. Given that all the hard stuff has been taken care of for you, as a report developer, surely you're bringing it all home by delivering an optimized view of your analysis for mobile consumption. Or are you like me? You pretend not to see that passive aggressive reminder that Power BI keeps flashing up every time you publish your report. On this episode, I'll be walking you through creating a mobile version of a report. As we go through, I'll hit the major features as well as drop some valuable tips and tricks. Well, really only one trick, but it's pretty significant as it buys you a lot more flexibility for your mobile layout. Okay, so I'm back in Power BI Desktop. I've got the desktop view up. So in order to go over and look at the design for the mobile view, I'll click on View and Mobile Layout. I see here that my canvas is blank. I've got a visualizations palette over here, and the only things that are listed in that palette are visualizations from my desktop. So let's go ahead and start laying that out. I'm gonna throw my three cloud logo, my title, and hmm. And I'll go ahead and throw my visualization that actually has some data in it. So I've created a mobile view here, but let's be honest, I didn't do myself any favors. It's probably worse than what I had before I created one. And I'd really like to change the way this looks or maybe create a totally different visual just for my mobile layout. So unfortunately, I'm stuck with the visuals that I have on my desktop. So the workaround here, and this is the tip that I was alluding to earlier, is basically you've got to create visuals, put them on your desktop version, and then hide them. So take, for example, this title bar here is huge. I want something smaller, so I can come over here and I'll just make a copy of this. And I'll make one with a font size of 24. Okay, and so now when I come over to my mobile layout, I can get rid of this one. I can add the smaller one. Okay, things are looking a little better, but unfortunately, now I'm stuck with over here on my desktop, I've got to do something with this. I mean, as soon as you get rid of it, even though you have it on your mobile layout, it disappears. Even if you try to hide it, same thing. If I come in here, create a smaller version of this, come add it to my mobile layout, Come over here and just hide this. Great. Hit it over on my mobile view as well. Thank you very little Power BI. So here's the trick. Let me go ahead and show that again. You basically just need to hide these behind a larger visualization on your desktop view. So I can take this sales analysis here and I'm just lining it up here to make sure that it's fully behind. I can hide this, I can highlight this, select this mobile only visual, go to my format and hit send to the back, and then it'll be hidden. The other way I can do that is if I have this selection panel, and if you don't see that, you can click on view and selection, and you can just take it, and if you drag it to the bottom, it'll put it behind anything else that's on the screen on top of it. So higher up in this list, the more visible, lower down, less visible. So our sales analysis, we now have a smaller one, that's looking better. And let's go ahead and create a visual that's maybe a little more meaningful. Let's take this, let's create a copy. And let's limit this just to the most three, most recent three months of our data. So December, November, and October of 2014. And we're gonna do the same thing here. This time I'm just gonna drag it down. Oop, didn't quite get it. 
and you can make it plenty small. The sizing here doesn't really affect the layout or the sizing on the mobile layout. It's more just the, you know, all of those parameters that are applied in both places. So back here on the mobile layout, let's get rid of the horizontal that we had and let's add in our three month. Okay, now that looks more like a mobile interface to me. I know this isn't great, but you get the general idea. Essentially, it allows you to use a different set of controls in your mobile layout than you have over here in your desktop view. So let's go ahead and publish this out. You know what? I want to show you something else. So I'm going to save this. I have one called desktop. I'm going to call this one mobile. Obviously, you'd want to maintain one version of this, right? I called it mobile, but don't, please don't let that throw you off. Basically, you'd create one version and everybody that views it from the desktop is going to get this desktop view. Anybody that views it from the phone, if they have it in the horizontal mode, they're going to get the desktop view. If they have it in the portrait mode of their phone, then they're going to get that special mobile view. So let's hop on over here to my phone. Okay, so let's pull up Power BI. Let's refresh. Okay, first thing I want you to notice is the difference in the icon. So it's pretty cool. The mobile version we created and published actually has a different icon. So that way your end users, like if you're creating reports for other people to use, they can quickly identify the one that's intended for the mobile version. So let's go ahead and bring that up. As you can see, we pull that up. We get the mobile version of this report where I automatically get the last three months. Beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. And if I want to see the desktop version, I can just rotate it and that will take me over back to the, to the desktop version. But ultimately, you want to create a version of these reports that just have succinct data that are available for a quick update. Okay, and one last thing here. Let's go in here and let's go ahead and create a Siri shortcut. So add to Siri. When I say open mobile sales report, report. Okay, cool. Hey Siri, open mobile sales report. Awesome. All right, there it is. Not a lot of depth to this demo, but hopefully enough to get you started. And hey, I'd love to hear any tips and tricks you might have for Power BI Mobile. Be sure to drop those in the comments below. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be the first to know as new episodes are released. Until next time, best of luck on all your Azure adventures. Thank you. Thank you.